Can you imagine how hard that must be for you? Yeah. <laughs> what? You're just so sweet. Reading articles with your adorable glasses, waiting for me to eat dinner. Just know that I'm always here for you. I know I'm not in the program, but if there's ever anything you need to get off your chest. I mean, there is something that I want to get off your chest. Please don't see my shirt. It's your shirt. Oh, uh, so he's an uh, older gentleman. Oh, not old, old. And then Catherine's like, she's quite a bit younger than you, right? I would say quite a bit, more like a bit. And, but what does that have to do with the fact that she's told me that she has a type? Okay, so she has a type. Those, those are the words she used? Yes. She, she said type. Why? What is, how does that matter? Yeah, I think I know what's going on here. I think you're getting all churned up over nothing, Cap. Really? Well, well, well thank you, but what is going on? Well, like my Uncle Cash always says, uh, some women just prefer the day-olds. The day-olds? What's that? Yeah, some women prefer the company of an older gentleman because they are worldly and they are wise. And maybe, uh, maybe Catherine's got a little daddy thing going. A daddy thing? I feel so dirty. Uh, is it hot? I'm so, it's hot. I'm sweating. It's yeah, hot, it's right? like a sauna in here, but cap, cap, it's, it ain't dirty, right? You're two consenting adults. Right. Are you guys, you guys are having a good time together? The best. She make you happy? I haven't been this happy in, in, well, I don't know how long. Okay, so don't overthink it. A guy like Catherine will come around but once in a blue moon. You're right. You know what? You're absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you, Judd. I really just needed to hear your elegant hillbilly wisdom. Well, don't thank me. Thank my Uncle Cash. <laughs>